All right, so I've been getting asked about tying hooks and egg loops and all the double hooks and whatnot. FYI, let everybody know in the whole wide world, I'm in rolled Yakima, my wife's in rolled Yakima. We fish in uh, the Columbia, Icicle, Yakima, we fish everywhere. So back to the question. <clears throat> it's the type of hooks, uh, the barb, goes on and on there's like so many questions that are going on so I want to answer all these and I want everybody to know what I'm doing so on the big river use double hooks totally legal there's nothing wrong with that so I get getting asked about what the hooks I'm using so I'm gonna let you guys know it's Gamagachi's number three and it has to be barbed so don't go in there getting non barbed unless you're a sportsman or something like that Nothing wrong with that, but this is what I'm using. All right, so spread it all out, whatever it is, 20 hooks or whatever. So how are we gonna tie in? So I'm using 40 pound monofilament, uh, Stryker Cabela's. It's only like 24 bucks. Now the thing is with this is that in, uh, when you're doing Always, by the way, always make sure you always have your clippers always around in it. All right, so the, the reason why I like this, this particular line is because it has memory. So whenever I'm tying, it, it, it will hold the memory to it. And it, it's, it's not really flexible, but it just kind of bends and twists with everything the way I like to do it with it. All right, so I'll go over it really slow with everybody to show you how to do it. And if you want to critique me, do it in a positive way. Don't be negative about it or anything else like that. If it's too fast for you, then let me know. So I'm going to slow it down and I'll go through the eye. It's like, so I'm going to go through the eye. Now, once you go through the eye, you want to run it back a little bit. So in case once the fish pulls on it, it won't, it won't make your knot slip. So I always will go about to here. Now, I teach everybody when I'm doing it, you'll put your, your, your pointer finger down on the base of the hook. I don't know, if you have a better way to explain it, then let me know, if you're not following me. So once you do that, you got it through your eye. Now, the best way I say is always bring it back to your knuckle of your finger. It doesn't matter where or how, as long as you go back. So you go back to the knuckle. So in this case, you'll just bring it back Bring it back, that's how you want to do it. That's the easiest way to bring it back. Now, I'm gonna skip over that part because I'm gonna bring it back, but I'm gonna do a shortcut. So you go around the eye, you go once, twice, three. But in this case, I like to do it, I like to do it like it's an anchor. All right, so now I already did it six or seven times. It doesn't matter how many times you do it, but it, it makes, the more the better, it holds it down. All right, so now you want to put your 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 index finger, your pointer finger, out like this above it. Does that make sense? And then you want to wrap it around your finger and go right back where you left off. Does that make sense? You can use your pinky to grab it to to hold it down. Don't get too crazy because if you put it way out there, it's gonna stretch your hand out and you're gonna cramp up and everything else like that. So just keep it kind of moderate and go right back to where you left off. And you can use your other hands to hold it down. I always do. So you're going to go right back to where you left off. Put it right there. You're going to line it up just like that. So we go right back. Now the other thing is you're going to release your hands. Once you release them, you're going to want to pull it back a little bit. So it's going like this. And I always call it the triangle. So now when you do that, when you do, you're gonna use your middle finger, the finger you flip everybody off at, and grab the outside. Pull it towards you, and then you're gonna create that triangle. So that's where the triangle I'm talking about. So once you do that, now don't wanna to get too crazy because if it's gonna cramp your hands. You're gonna just drop it, push it through, and then bring it back. So we're gonna cinch it back down because I kinda of got buck wild. All right, so we're right back where we started from. We did our first one. So grab it with your middle finger, push it through the triangle, 
and go back. Do it again. Do. Now this is point, I'm not even doing it no more. I'm just like wrapping around. But So we're gonna make our triangle, just to go back again, make our triangle, and we're gonna push it through like that. So I always go probably about three or four times, no, nah, I'm lying, six times. All right, so once I've already done that, I'll cinch it down. And that's basically, I'm anchoring it down so it's not going nowhere. So when the fish hit, they're not going nowhere. All right, so now I've already tied that down like that. I've cinched it off. So now I'm gonna run it back through the eye now everybody was saying something about my egg knot and I, I keep going over this. I keep reiterating with you guys. This is your egg knot. And I said I don't use it on the Columbia River because I'm using tuna balls, tuna steaks in this hand. So if you were drifting, this is where you would put your this is where you'd put your eggs is in your egg knot or loop or whatever you want to call it. I don't care what you want to call it, whatever it is. We have the same understanding. So then we'll cinch that up. Now, I've always said that we wanna leave the tail just a little bit. So I always measure it up just so it don't mess anything up when I'm tying, but I leave it just enough that it stays, that if the fish bite and it stretches it out, it don't we don't lose it. All right, so now when we're running our double, I let me back it up. So if you guys have to run single hooks, then this is what you're gonna run. Then you're gonna put your put your corkies down and whatever you use. I don't I don't know what you want to use. Your eggs, whatever it is. But in my case, I'm not doing that. I'm running my double hooks for for my cheaters and whatnot. So I'll run it through. I'm going slow, and I really it, I have the hardest time going slow on anything I ever do in life because I'm 100% all out. Now you'll run and run it. You will run and run the the line back down to the base of the second hook. Okay. I'm trying to go slow. I'm trying to turn everything. So I will bring. What what happens is is that when the fish will bite, they tend to hit the bottom hook and they stretch it out. And these are the ones that pops off first. So it's tough to have them farther out because they'll break off faster. But if you can do it too, but I always will, I always will measure it up right to the base of it. And right now it's the same thing. So you'll just grab it and pinch it. You'll grab it and pinch it right at the end like that. So just pretend it's not even there. It's just got to do longer loops. So once again, we're going to go around the eye and then do, in this case, I know I always go faster. So I'm going to slow down. I'm just going probably about 10 times. I don't know. I just make up numbers and whatever I feel like. I compensate for everything when I'm tying hooks because they're not all the same. So same thing. You're going to have your triangle and you're going to pull it back with your middle finger. Pull it back and then push it through. And then you're going to bring it, bring it back like that. So same thing. Use your middle finger. Grab it. Push it through the triangle like that and I'm gonna speed it up and then so it's kind of getting out of control so you got to cinch it back down so that doesn't happen and your hand your your hands will start cramping up and you'll be like ah and sound like the crow so got it back under control so do my triangle push it through do my triangle push it through use my middle finger grab it push it through and you'll keep going. And so I want I want my hook, my second hook, to be right next to the other one. Because what happens when the fish bite, they'll stretch them out. And then next thing you know, your 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 trailer will be way out there. And then that's obviously a ch time to change it. All right. So now I'm gonna run it through the eye. This. Now look. So as you're looking right here, this is your egg loop. So everybody that's saying you don't have an egg loop or anything like this, guess what? You have an egg loop. 
But what thing is, I'm using shrimp and I'm using tuna balls, so I don't use the egg loop. But there it is. So if you want your eggs, you just stick them in there, cinch them down, pull them in, and there you go. And then you'll put, but I, I, I tell you that if you're gonna do that, make sure you have at least one corky here and another one to get it away from that. And then it helps better. But there's your egg loop. Everybody was saying, you don't have an egg loop. Tell me how to do the egg loop. Well, there it is. And this is the double hook that I always do. And then it is, it's wicked. And then they'll hook onto this one and they'll try to kick it out. And guess what? This one spins around and it hooks on them too. So this is how you do your double hook. And it's eggs or whatever you want to use. But in case that if you're doing your fishing somewhere else that's only single, then you're only gonna do with your one single hook. Just depends on where you're at and what you're doing. So this is all it is, simple as that. And what I'm doing is, and I'll put a spinning glow on it or corkies and I'll just drift it in icicle. And this is where all the questions were coming, like what are you doing in icicle and this is how it is doesn't change too much from one river to the other the big river or the small river it doesn't change much so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you an example 40 40 pound monofilament it's as simple as that always keep your clippers on you because you're always gonna be time because you're always gonna be hooking up and whatnot so now let's go over it really fast real quick and this will only take a second so don't blink so that we have our gamma got you we stick it through the eye. We get make sure that we give ourselves some a, a tail on it, right? It doesn't matter. You can't go wrong of how many times you want to go around your hook. I'm pretty sure I'm really one of the fastest ones I've ever seen tie these hooks. I haven't seen really anybody tie any faster than I have. And I'm going kind of slow right now so that I can show everybody. So I always will pull it away and then come back and go through the eye again. So there, there is your, your egg loop, not whatever you want to call it, right there. All right, so now remember, we want to cut right here, right at the base, so that way when the salmon hit, we'll stretch it out. Okay, so I'm only on the out, I got a couple seconds. So then I'll push it through, push it through the eye on the second one, and then we'll put it all the way down to the base right there that's the base that's where we want it then we'll do the same thing and pretend this hook is not there and just keep going go around in this case I like to go a lot more closer to the trailer and then I'll do our triangle push it through 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 however you want to learn how to do it cinch that up and run it through through the eye there's your egg loop what not whatever you want to put in there there it is same thing everybody keeps asking me about it but there it is and then bam it's just fast we're doing this all night long you guys have any other questions let me know